In a far-off village surrounded by hills, there were some young students led by an old and wise teacher. These students were eager to learn about wisdom and wanted to know what kind of qualities and behaviors they should avoid. One evening, as the sun set and painted the sky with beautiful colors, the boys gathered under a big tree. They had questions about the qualities and behaviors they shouldn't admire. A boy named Lisa asked, Master, we've learned about the good qualities that make a person wise and virtuous. But can you also teach us about the qualities and actions we should stay away from, those that don't deserve our respect? The master, with his calm presence, nodded and began to share his wisdom. He explained that respecting someone means recognizing their good qualities, but it's just as important to understand what should not be respected. He then shared three qualities or actions that should not earn their respect. The first thing that's not worth respecting is arrogance. Arrogant people act like they're better than everyone else. They don't listen to others or learn from them because they believe they already know everything. This makes it hard for people to be friends with them. It's not good because it stops them from seeing different points of view and growing as a person. To be wise, you need to be open to learning and improving. Arrogance prevents that and keeps you from making meaningful connections and gaining insights from others. The students were listening carefully and ready to hear about the second quality. Another thing not worth respecting is dishonesty. When someone is dishonest, it means they don't tell the truth and often twist things to benefit themselves. This can harm trust and ruin relationships. Trust is super important in any relationship, like with friends, family, or co-workers. When someone is dishonest, trust is broken, and the relationship gets weaker. Dishonesty doesn't just affect trust. It also hurts the whole community and society. It can create a culture of lying and make it hard for people to work together. This can lead to misunderstandings, conflicts, and people not cooperating. Honesty is a good quality. People who are honest are seen as reliable and trustworthy because they always tell the truth. This helps build strong and healthy relationships. So dishonesty should be avoided because it damages trust and our social connections. The students were eager to hear about the third quality. The third thing that's not worth respecting is selfishness. Selfish people always think about themselves and put their wants and needs above everyone else's. This kind of behavior can hurt the people around them and cause problems in their community. Selfishness can show up in different ways. It could be someone who never shares, always insists on getting their way, or only cares about what benefits them without thinking about others. When we see selfishness in others or notice it in ourselves, we should understand that it can have bad consequences. Selfish actions can break trust and create conflicts because they show that someone doesn't care about how others feel. In the long run, a group or community that allows and respects selfish behavior will have trouble working together and caring for each other. So, by recognizing and avoiding respect for selfishness, we can help create a more peaceful and thoughtful world where people care about the well-being of everyone, not just themselves. The master's words carried a lot of wisdom. The students were really focused as they listened to their wise master. They learned what things and behaviors they should avoid respecting in their lives. This knowledge helped them understand how to be wise and virtuous. The students felt a big change in how they saw things after learning from their master. They realized that avoiding these three bad qualities and actions was just as important as embracing wisdom and being smart. They left that evening feeling happier and with a clearer mind. In the following days, the students started using what they learned from the master in their lives. They discovered that by not respecting these negative qualities, they made room for personal growth, kindness, and understanding. Their friendships got stronger, and they felt like they had a renewed sense of purpose. The teachings of the wise master continued to inspire the students and showed them the way to be good and enlightened.